So if you want to study in France, this is what you are going to do, all right? Because there are a lot of universities in France and you need to search each of these universities on Google to know which university has a program you have to study. But while you're searching, do not forget that you need to check requirements, all right? It is very, very important for you to verify all the requirements for all universities, all the universities you are interested in, okay? So make Google your friend, and while you Google search the universities, remember you are checking schools that will teach you um, in English language, that have English taught bachelor's or master's degree or PhD programs, all right? These are the type of universities you are going to be checking in France on Google. Now, when you find those universities, what you are going to do is you check their requirements, all right? If you meet their requirements, you now move to the application portal. The application is going to be online, all right? I also want you to pay attention to the fact that you may just upload these documents without mailing them using a DHL service or maybe any courier service that is going to take hard copies to France because most French universities will just need you to upload the, hard, the soft copies online, all right? That's you upload the, your documents online. And now when you are uploading the documents to the university site, which are the documents you are uploading? You may upload your birth certificate you are uploading your academic certificates, all right? For example, if you are applying for a bachelor's degree program, you are going to upload your high school documents, if it's O-levels, A-levels, YX certificate, or the WSS certificate, all right? Just basic high school documents. Then you also add your birth certificate, you add your passport uh, data page, all right? Then, now, I understand you may be asking, since I'm, I'm going to a French country, or a French-speaking country, and I want to study in English language. Do I need um, English proficiency? Yes, in certain cases, you may need English proficiency, but most schools in France, all right, will need you just to document that you have been studying in English language. If you are coming from an English speaking country where you have been studying in English language, this is a perfect opportunity for you. You just go to your university, take a document from the department or whichever personnel. Then you provide it to your admissions or to your university in France, the school you are applying to, I'm talking about, okay? So you don't really need like something like an art or a TOEFL certificate. But like I said, always read the requirements well. And if you don't find information like that, try to send an email to the admissions team, all right? Because some schools will boldly specify that if you are coming from an English-speaking country, just submit and a proof that you have been studying in English language, all right, or proficiency. You don't necessarily need it. Moving next to the next thing, when you upload all these documents, okay, the university is going to look into your documents. And most times, most French universities will take maximum three weeks to one month and they will respond to you, all right. Also put into consideration that there are some universities that will ask you, um, to apply via Campus France. Why? Let's assume that you have already gotten your admissions letter and you want to apply for visa. Never you go to the French embassy without going through Campus France, all right? So like I was saying, some will ask you to pass through Campus France to apply, while others you will not see that, all right? Also bear in, keep into mind that there are cheaper universities in France that you may basically just study for free, all right? What I mean here is there are schools in France that range from you may spend just a hundred euros to like 200 euros others will go to like 350 euros all right maximum i mean in terms of tuition fee so you have to check if you cannot find such universities on google i will recommend you watch those few videos i have about four to five videos i filmed recently about studies in france cheap schools in france all right like the university of paris Saclay, the university of Orleans, the university of saint etienne there are a lot of them all right so verify them they most of them their bachelor's degree programs are 170 euros 184 350 and you pay this money instrumentally all right per semester so it is very cheap to study in france in fact absolutely free all right so that is what you should know after your admissions letter like i said if you apply through Campus France, make sure your university specify that. But if they don't say apply through Campus France, 
make sure you apply as quick as possible all right like as uh, universities in france will take maximum one month after one month you will get the admissions letter then what you need to do now is to check for means to apply for a student visa in this case contact campus france as fast as possible to know what to do next when you go through campus france all right they may ask you to upload your documents again the documents you use to apply for your university all right when you upload these documents now campus france is going to direct you to a service called eef all right eef is a student in france portal and understand that campus france is like an intermediary between you and french universities as a matter of fact, Campus France is uh, a body that uh, governs international students, that sees into international students who want to study into French universities or in France, all right? So, when you go through Campus France, but there is something I want you to pay attention to. Understand that Campus France or anything you do on EEF, all right, or Campus France is not free. In Cameroon, for example, I know a friend who went to Campus France and he was charged some money, all right? So that is what I'm saying. It is not free. It is not a free service. So while going there, understand that you would be asked to pay for some charges, all right? But I would suggest that you go there and follow up because Campus France is the best. You cannot follow yourself. You cannot apply, get a visa yourself to move to France. Please go through Campus France, all right? Why there you are going to upload all your documents, like I said, on EEF and Campus France will later contact you maybe probably after two or three weeks to inform you that you can now book your appointment for visa application. I hope you get the, the information. When they inform you about this, you now to need, you need to book an appointment. But first, let me explain something. Before you even go for the visa interview, all right, remember that when you upload those documents all right via eef at campus france website then like i said try to get to campus france they can help you with this easily okay it is very important you pass through them because without them you are going to find difficulties in whichever country you are watching me from like i said a friend of mine went there um, in cameroon and was asked some money but since he couldn't afford, I don't know how much, so please locate them and verify. He didn't, uh, he decided to change everything. So when you pass, when you upload those documents, then they are going to invite you. Campus France will call you for an interview. The reasons they want to, they are calling you for the interview is because they want to just know why you want to study in France. Why that particular university in France, all right? What is your specific reasons? Or let me say your plans after you study or after your study program in france you understand are you going to get a post study visa are you returning to your home country or things like that they want to know that all right plans after school why you choose france why the university and stuff like that then after that they that is when you may receive an interview um, an email not may you will receive an email telling you to apply for an interview or to to apply for visa appointment all right in this case now you have to book an uh, you have to create an account then you book an appointment via the french embassy now not more no more campus france because you are going to get to apply for the visa all right then you go for the visa interview but before you go for the visa interview there is something very important all right i want to mention here accommodation accommodation number one proof of funds number two someone just asked me uh, i think yesterday what is the proof of funds for france just stay connected i'm coming to that now when you are to study in france remember you need to show them that you have a place you are going to live be living all right in order to attend lectures of course you cannot live on the street again you need to show money that you can take care of yourself because no government want liabilities you understand now let's start with the accommodation it is going to be difficult for you somehow to get accommodation in france especially if um you do not speak french okay so what i will say is go through campus france they will help you all right campus france will help you sort out accommodation because you need to show the accommodation contract when applying for the visa i hope you understand you need proof of funds for one year i am still coming to that so campus france will help you and get you this document you may pay for it of course then they will get you proof of accommodation to show during your visa interview then alongside your proof of funds again before i go to the proof of funds know that the documents you are going to carry to the embassy 
are just your basic documents you use to apply all right if you apply for masters of course include your transcript your bachelor's transcript if you apply for phd also add your master's transcript all right carry all these documents with you then um, also remember that these documents will, might also involve an uh, a visa application form all right and of course um, your accommodation document and proof of funds now proof of funds how do you prove funds to study in France? Well, from now, from what I know is, I'm talking based of what someone did, all right? I'm just going to keep everything unanimous. So, um, France needs you to document that you have at least 650 euros a month, all right, to spend. 650 to take care of yourself, your feeding, your transportation, your accommodation, and of course, your your... Your utilities, all right, accommodation in general, feeding in general, and transportation 650 a month. Now, you need a visa for one year, and you must document that you have money at least with you for one year to cover up. Therefore, you need to multiply 650 euros times 12. If you multiply 650 euros by 12, I think you should have something closer to like 7,800 euros. Yes equivalent but this person didn't use he used around 7500 all right so but the money you should have is 7800 euros in your bank account in your bank account please don't forget very important now let me quote tell you how you can document this um, remember some countries may not need accommodation before you apply for student visa some country may not need you to document money some may ask for bank statement blocks account like germany and norway and france needs you to have the money like unlike austria austria also needs you to have money in your own personal bank account all right so that is what you should understand now for france you need to put the money in an account then get a letter from the bank to show that you have money in that account and how much is the money and when you move to france the bank will transfer that money into your bank account in france I hope you understand that is why you should be looking at banks that are linked to france or french connected banks or banks that some uh or banks that have branches in france all right for example you can use sjbc for those in cameroon you can use Societe general verify if they have Societe general verify all right in case you are watching me from ghana south africa cameroon liberia morocco tanzania or anywhere to turkey or anywhere all right verify if there is Societe general in your home country or sjbc if you have these two banks ask campus france if you can do your proof of funds with them it doesn't matter how long you put the money but if you put with uh Societe general all right they are going to tell you that this is what we anyways just ask them they will give you a letter to show that this is how much you have in the bank account and when you move to france they will transfer the money to your account in france all right that is societe general again like i said they will also give you a bank statement all right so these two documents are very important collect them when you in your own bank account like i said you may put the money maybe now then you apply for your visa after one month but make sure you get those documents and that required amount is very very important so this is what you need to know about studies in france again understand that the visa appointment or let me say application appointment with french embassy is not an issue unlike some other embassies but your visa may take maybe two weeks some people can get visas in two weeks some may get even after six days some but some will get after like one month all right so it all depends some visas don't take time, especially with some specific European countries. Now, with uh, post-study options, I already mentioned that in one short video. Check the channel, you will find that. All right, you can work in France. You can open a company in France. But remember, there are rules you have to follow. All right, and there are specific guidelines to all information. Like I said, the links to Campus France will be in the description box. For those of you looking for cheap schools in France, verify the YouTube channel and check the description box. All right, so you read everything. Don't forget there is a scholarship opportunity coming up very soon to study in France. The FL scholarship, the video is on my YouTube channel. Verify all of that. There are cheaper schools in France, which with all links, in the description box verify the youtube channel and see all of this all right accommodation is very very important again remember i said you must be able to defend yourself when it comes to why do you want to study in france all right why have you chosen this particular university in france what is your future ambitions after you finish schools in france all right these are some of the questions that you may be asked even at the level of the 
visa interview campus france is very important guys don't forget to go through them all right it is not a paid service but however um it is going to help you especially when it comes to your application and accommodation or maybe proof of funds all right for those who ask for proof of funds i hope you are now clear all right so this is what i can say at the end of this video all our videos will drop very soon guys so if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe to this video and this channel thank you so much until we meet again bye